Hello and welcome back to Daylight. I am Cinebrite, and the last episode we ran around and found a creepy teddy bear and used it to unlock a door while being chased by ghost girls and getting a tattoo on my hand for looking at stuff. And apparently there's something going on with the boiler room. That's about as far as I know. So let's figure out what's going on before I die, because I just heard something and that was terrifying. Oh, there's the thing. There's the thing. Attention all employees, we understand it's difficult to make it outside for your time of break, just because the record room is large. It's not making move around things and create a satellite break room for smoking. Blah blah blah, don't do it. So you're hinting that I can move things and jump on them, is that what you're trying to say? Last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility due to the unfortunate timing. We were unable to transfer a critical pac patient to the emergency department and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records room security door. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the record room stacks. And you're telling me I need to turn the breaker on. Okay. So I probably need to move the boxes in order to get to the breaker. Just taking a guess. <laughs> Fuck. What was that? I don't like it. Sounded like a ghost bird or something. Hello? Hello? I don't like being effed with. Mrs. Daniel was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating that she was extremely unhappy at work in her personal life. Personnel on, state, on site state that she died from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Weird. Pending a police investigation, Mrs. Daniel's body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Oh God. What? Oh God, what? What do you, what do you see that I don't see? Mid Island Hospital is one of the most locally influential and medically profound places in our city's history. Yet few people know how important its presence has been. From treating smallpox in the 1850s to contributing to tuberculosis research in more recent years, the hospital has done much to the benefit of citizens of New Kipling. Even its brief, if failed, attempt at reopening as a penitentiary helped to keep our citizens safe. Failed. How does a penitentiary fail? Just not work? Why do I need to stack up boxes? I got ladders, man. Just push a ladder over. Just saying. Kipling citizens accused crime. 16 year old girl allowed to live. Admits guilt. Is condemned to hang evil. Hospital open to deal with spread of disease. That's not ominous at all. Let's. There's a ladder. What was that? Red thing. Ah! Ah! Stop! Stop! Yes, please stop. So much pain and suffering. We can't move. You! This Rally place? Pure. Rally pure. Never simple. 
Sure. I just want to go home. Ghost from the past, and there's the hospital as it stands today. Abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow Island for its ominous bird population. The hospital and island sits on are now more synonymous with rumors about curses and hauntings. It's hardly a youth in New Kipling who does not entertain the rite of passage of sneaking into the abandoned building. And the stories they concoct about hearing voices, smelling cigar smoke, or even seeing women's shadows wandering the hallways have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life-saving pillar of our community. Okay, so apparently this place is... doesn't look that old. I mean, it looks pretty crappy, but it doesn't look that old. Patient 90D. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Moriarty noticed Patient 90D standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood, and he was raving about faces in the dark. And I accidentally closed it. Okay. Something. Oh, there's a... No oh, it's over there. Can't get over there. Uh, it's really dark over here. Patient 90D. Hey, it's the same one. Patients have all taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. You seem high, strung, and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She's oddly special to him. He killed her, didn't he? That's just how it always works. I feel like I'm being led. Boxes with ropes can be moved, some objects can be climbed with space. Space! Oh, okay, I climbed. Look at me. Okay, so. How do I move it? Do I just like push it? I do. So do I just jump on top? Is that where I need to go? Just right up on top? Well that seems pretty simple. What's this? Oh, it's a break. Oh! What happened? Out of the dark make you feel better? Well, it shouldn't. Well, you're a jerk. It should make me feel better, probably. I don't know why those boxes screamed. Or why I couldn't just use the ladder. But I don't like it. Oh, uh, pull this one over now. Push. No, no, push. Push! Push this freaking box! Okay, guess I can only pull that box. Not sure why I'm pulling it. But apparently I need to. Okay. It's going that way. And then I'm jumping on top of there. Okay, and on top of there, now I just kind of run on top of the boxes, I guess, and balance on this board, and then climb over here, and I'm free, kind of. Going that way. Probably not going this way. Is 
Like a key card or something. Or, you know, big obvious button. Oh, God, I'm dumb. Oh, glow sticks. Okay, moving on. Didn't like that? Nope. I don't like the fact that you're saving all of a sudden. Doesn't mean something bad's gonna happen. Dr. Watkins recommends removal of all possessions from patient's room as a means of curing her fantasy. His patient became violent during extraction, so he seems particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after his removal. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Yay, flares! Flares are my friend. Six B is stuffed bear. Thought I heard something. The patient refers to as her beloved has been placed in quarantine. Hey, that's the one I just did in the last video. The doctor recommends incineration as it is come in contact with the girl and might carry the disease. None of us had the heart to burn the stuffed animal though. I guess Miss Goodman isn't the only one in this place with a soft spot for such a poor, wretched little girl. Also sad. the F. Okay, nothing in here. Guess we have to either go up or down. Down's usually scarier, so let's go up. Hello? Hello? 